Hello friends, in this video I am going to teach you about the rules for PLC ladder logic programming. If you are working with PLC department or uh, maintenance department, uh, this video will be more and more useful for you, especially for beginners. Okay, so when it comes to program the machine from scratch or uh, troubleshoot the machine using ladder, then these rules will be more and more helpful for you or useful for you. Okay, so here is the rule number one. Uh, this is the ladder overview. We have rung and rail on it in ladder section. So this is uh, rail is nothing but power supply. Okay, so it 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 has always power supply. Okay, so this is the rung. In rung we have three sections: signal section and decision section and action section. See, signal section is represent auto, manual, and mechanical. So here's the description: start, stops, current flow to the circuit, allows circuit to operate. If you want to uh, operate the circuit then this signal section should be enabled okay so how can we enable using these signals auto manual mechanical for example if we have start push button stop push buttons or like that using that signals we can operate this circuit okay so here decision section decision mean we have programmed it using logic gates if you if you are beginner then if you are going to learn the uh, letter language so all all will say the logic gates is a basic for ladder logic programming so we, we will apply and logic or logic not logic nan logic so like this uh, so here is the here comes decision section okay so we have programmed x0 and x1 and we need to turn on when x0 and x1 gets turned on okay so now uses logic from multiple devices to determine what work is to be done we have some conditions okay if both inputs are turned on x0 and x1 then output will be turned on otherwise output won't be turned on okay so decision is used to control a load device so here is the in decision section we are we are making the uh, decisions according to and or this logics okay then action section okay here this is the description is work to be performed based upon decision here we are making the decisions and or something so we need to execute that on output okay so this is an action section okay uh, for example we can say turn a load device on or off for example we have solenoid coil if the both inputs are pressed okay we have two inputs so that comes under signal and that inputs are occupied with the and logic okay so that comes under decision section now both inputs are true now we need to make sure the output is on so that comes under action section so this is the first rule you need to uh, you need to understand this uh, three sections then only you can easily program the machine easily and efficiently so next rule number two inputs can be used in series as well as parallel to form a connection if you want to form a connection then you can use the inputs in series and parallel also okay see it is the ex example uh, this is the inputs so we are uh, we are uh, making the inputs in series and parallel and this is the output coil so uh, rule number two is represents inputs in series and inputs in parallel okay we can use it as uh, series and parallel also so next rule number three outputs or coil can be used only in parallel see here inputs we can use it use it in series and parallel also but here outputs are coil can be used only in parallel you cannot use it in series okay so see here i have mentioned the outputs in series so this is the wrong method if you put the output coils like this mean software won't software won't accept the line maybe it will it will throw the some error okay so if you if you place the outputs in parallel so this will be okay this is the correct correct method to place the outputs so now rule number four one input can be used in multiple times in a single program okay so in single program one input you can use the one input in multiple times okay lot of times wherever you want you can use it x0 here 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 uh, you can put anywhere you want okay then rule number five rule number five is what one output cannot be used in multiple times in single program expert in set reset latch and latch so these both concepts are same some PLCs they will call set reset but in alum broadly they will call latch and latch okay so latch is unlatch is also nothing but set and reset see here um, we are turning on y0 using x0 and we are again same giving 
why is it in set set condition so this will be mal function your plc uh, while the program execution plc will throw some error or some mal function maybe you uh, you may face the mal function in your uh, sequence machine sequence so uh, you cannot use the same names in two coils okay so this is the wrong see i have pointed out in red marker this is the wrong method clear okay so the next input address cannot be used as output address okay uh, i have also made this mistake lot of times when i when i was beginner okay uh, see x0 and x x1 won't be used in output uh if you, if you want to program the any plc so they will give some memory uh, memory mapping so you you need to look you need to look at the memory mapping so in that memory mapping you can find what in um what term represent the input and uh, output and time or a counter so like that so according to that you can use the terms okay uh, suppose if you do not refer that uh, memory mapping mean then you are directly going to programming uh, maybe you you made uh, some mistakes and you made some uh, waste of time okay so better refer the memory mapping while programming okay so the next is output address can be used as input address see here uh, in the previous rule we saw input address cannot be used as output address but here output address can be used as input address see uh, we have some logic so uh, i just want to turn on y1 after y0 is getting turned on so for that i'm giving the no name like y0 so here i'm using the output name in input okay so this is a, this is also one of the rule you can use the output address in, in as an input address but you cannot use input address as a output address okay so see here an individual the next rule an individual physical input device limit switch push button press switch or etc okay may be used on the later diagram in both n1 and nc configurations okay so this is a uh, very important rule uh, this is a field wiring okay we have uh, we have normally open push button connection on x0 so this is the normally open normally open mean when you press the push button then uh, supply will come from the point okay so x0 will get turned on see in x0 is a normally open in field but in ladder diagram you can use it in no or or nc both ways you can use both in both configuration you can use the x0 okay but in field it's it's uh, still remain in normally open condition here if you if you put no mean when the push button is get close then uh, x0 will close and y0 will gets energized okay so here i'm using normally closed so normally closed to mean there is no input from the push button so y0 is still remaining on when you press the push button then it will give the supply to x0 okay so now x0 state is always closed now x0 is getting supply from a push button so it will go to open okay because this is like not gate okay if, if you give the for nc contract if you give one it will give a zero if you give a zero it will give one so like that so y1 will get turned off okay so you need to understand this logics and also same uh, concept for the nc push button see here we are using x1 but this configuration is normally closed if you use x1 in ladder mean if you use uh, uh, if you put no mean uh, always supply will come from this x1 so y3 will always turn on suppose if you press the normally closed push button it will open the circuit so there is no more power supply in x1 okay so here i'm giving zero so it will give one so now the y2 will turn on when the x3 and the x1 also gets turned on okay so this is the uh, rule number 8 okay so thanks guys thanks for watching uh, if you if you really like this video please share this with share this video with your friends see you in the next video